Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I welcome you all. And today uh, we have a very good topics to discuss, and this book is so. Uh, here is the PDF guru. Who we, I will read it for you, and we will learn about from this books. This book is pretty good by publishers by DK. So a big idea, simply explain, and their book series. And this book is fully illustrated, and we have lots of things to understand. Now this content, let me tell you that what we gonna learn from this books first is forwarded introductions, and then Muhammad, Quran, and Islam's identity. Uh, the Quran, the Islamic identity, then golden age of Islam, uh, and in the next we have uh, form, form and re revival, for reform and re revival, and then Islam, what Islam today. So we have around around 300 pages book, and the many lots of knowledge is there. So let's for start it. So uh, yes, we have more focus on Islam. So before we start, let's read that front page. What is written on the front page? So before we enter into that introductory part. Let's read this front page first. What it says? So Muhammad is God's final messenger. So Muhammad is a man who is the God's final messenger. And uh, yeah, hurry to pray, hurry to salvation. This book is not to be doubted. This book is fully undoubted. People really leave Islam here. The shadow of God on earth. All the earth is a mosque. Grant me then the beauty of your face, the guide for the righteous, the Lord of all being. Seeking knowledge is obligatory for every Muslim. The brilliant ornaments of the world is this scripture. I hope so. Uh -huh. The Islam is a gift from Almighty and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God and this is a Abrahamic religion we will learn them don't worry so after so i'm not going to into that uh, sub content mm -hmm. so we i told you the headings and now one by one we will go through so forward it let's read that at the start of the 7th century ce a man who had just turned 40 a man who had grew up an orphan and uh, clambered up a barren rocky hillsides to reach a cave in a valley near makkah an important city for trades and the worships of numerous deities in the Arabian desert, such trades were something he had often undertaken for com contemplations and solitude. It was up here that uh, one day he received his very first revelations from the angel Gabriel or Gabriel. Uh, in Arabic, it's Jibrail. So it was one simple word, read. Yes, read, gripped by fear and overcome with emotions. He responds saying, but I don't know how to read. Again, the divine order came, read. Then miraculously, having not thought himself capable, he began to recite the first word of a new holy book, that man, Muhammad would go on to become the prophet and the revelations that started in the cave of Hira would become known as the Quran. The holy book of Islam, the religious followed by the religion followed by the estimated 1.8 billion people across the world. So 1.8 billion people, uh, maybe nowadays it's 2 billion people uh, out of 7 billion. For me, one of the most uh, profound and telling aspects of this moment, who is saying, is Rege Omar, Rag Omar. Okay. For me, one of the most profound and telling aspects of this moment of Islam's birth is that the very first word with which the religion was brought into began was read. I can think of no other word today that is as relevant and vital to the complementations of Islam then read the the hug the huge the hug part of my life over the last the huge part of my life sorry uh, over the last 25 years as an international news reporter has involved bearing witness to political upheld conflicts and humanitarian tragedies in muslims countries as someone who has himself raised as a Muslim from Iraq to Indonesia, Slovenia to Syria, Bosnia to Bangladesh, 
I have witnessed and try to convey to view of all things and those with the non conflicts and many misunderstanding between Muslims and the West between Muslims and non Muslims and also and also uh, among Muslims themselves as I have done so I have always traveled to my assignment carrying book book like this one that you want to hold you you just see it in your on screen so in your hands in my travel across the Islamic world during those turbulent decades I have worked alongside diplomats solid soldiers and humanitarian relief work who would often say how valuable it would be to have a reference books that give a clear and accessible explanations about the principles of Islam and rich and the and the rich multi-layered history of the religion and the ideas that have inspired it the remarkable achievements of this book is that it is provided an invalu invaluable resources for muslims and non-muslims alike discussions of the flowering flowering of islam scientific golden age and uh, and the use of calligraphy as well as questions about women's rights in islam and the rise of extremism help all of us whether we are we call ourselves muslim or not to understand the faith better the joy of this clearly written and cleverly illustrated book is that it started from the premises uh, that there are no questions too simple for these books to be of interest and value the reverse is also the reverse is also true however much you i think you know about islamic history and muslims world this book will still delight and open doors to the faith of you so thank you Rege Omar, Reg Omar and now we're gonna start the introductory part and what is in the introduction let's check this out I hope it will be interesting so this book is described the fundament the foundational idea not just of Islam the religion but also as of many of the great Islamic civilizations cultures and political and social movements that the religions inspired and countries to inspire along with judaism and christianity islam is one of the world's three great monotheistic religion it was founded in the early 17th century by muhammad a merchant of uh, the city of makkah on the arabian peninsula he received the from god the revelations uh, contained in the quran the holy book of islam preach them to a steadily increasing group of followers muhammad was the preaching of holy holy new religion sorry muhammad was not was not preaching the holy new religion so what he is preaching rather he was arguing the primarily polytheistic he urging the primarily polytheistic inhabitant of arab Bear to return to the worship of the one the true god this was the same god of the abrahamic traditions whose past prophet include ibrahim or uh, abraham and musa or moses and isa or jesus who muslims believe is the not the son of god but the prophet of muslim prophet for muslims and muhammad is the last in the line of the of prophets so yes Abraham, Musa, Isa and all are Ibrahim, Ibrahimic traditions and they are all prophet as well as the prophet Muhammad. The three religion of the book share a belief in the trans, trans, transience of earthly life in the imperative of prayer and good deeds in our accountability before God for our actions and in the assurance of return to god on the day of judgment for muslim this is all described in the quran which along with the saying and example sets by the prophet during his lifetime laid the blueprint for the life of islam for a life in islam a spread of islam islam is holistic religion that integrates all aspects of life traditionally in islam there was no division between what the western world term church and state muhammad and his immediate successor were religious 
political and military leaders in one office there the idea into uh, in ancient in islam were spread rapidly from arab and throughout the what we now call the middle east and across north africa islam advanced into europe taking taking to taking root in southern spain it moved deeper into africa and throughout central asia into india and east to china muslim trades look to islam to southeast asia where it flourish on the iceland and archipelagos of the indian ocean as the religion expand scholars clear it scleris and legal minds took what were oral traditions and engaged in process of verifications and transcriptions defining the islamic identity from the from this came a framework for islamic law or sharia a new prophetics a new pra new practice of quranic interpretations and islamic calendars and many of the traditions that define the uh, faith there were those who object to the con 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 codification codifications uh, object to the codifications of the religious and who pursue their own more personal vision of islam they would be known as sufis there were disagreement to uh, over who should succeed muhammad as leaders Uh, of the muslims one group split from the mainstream and become known as shias and so shia sunnis and all is in the list a golden age along the way islam create a great centers for of learning which accommodates both theologically theological studies and the formulations of islam law islamic law as well as the pursuit of philosophy medicine astronomy and science at the period in history when the knowledge of the of the ancient world practical particularly of the greeks was about to be lost uh, islamic scholars took on the task for of preserving that knowledge and building on it as successions of mighty islamic empires emerged first in arab land centered on damascus in syria or ummayyad and then baghdad in iraq abba Ab, abbasid and cairo in egypt fatimid uh, fatimid and mamluk and then later among non arab peoples in turkey ottoman and paris safavid and india moguls so you can see uh, in india we have moguls in paris we have safa with in turkey we have ottoman empire uh, it's a non arabic people and uh, in cairo in egypt fatimid and mamu mamluk in baghdad or in uh, baghdad syria ummayyad and iraq abbasid so those are the who spread islam and islam is in modern times it is only in recent history from around the late 17th century that 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 grow of islam slowed around this time its global influence began to be eclipsed by christians empire of europe those empires set about colonizing muslims majority countries and uh, a situations that only came to an and and midway through the 20th century in many instances islam provide a focus for oppositions to con colonial powers and an inspirations for nationalist movement in the late in the later part of 20th century islam was resurgent flourishing in every part so yes over the world meeting the challenges for modern time while remaining faithful to traditional values who today the islamic world span the globe the pew research center the pew research center of us based think tank think tank that greater data on global trends estimated in 2015 that there were 
1.8 billion Muslims around the world and making Islam the second largest according to Pew Research Center, a US based think tank. Think tank. Uh, so largest, second largest after Christianity, Islam is also the world fastest growing religion. In 2020, almost one in four people globally was a Muslim. So every four, you will see one is Muslim. So looking ahead, the Pew Research Center estimated that by 2050, the number of Muslims will increase, grow to 2.76. Oh my God, around 3 billion people, around 3 billion people or 29% uh, of entire globe populations, 30% approx. Islam is misunderstood by many. The extremists grab the headlines. Those of us who want to practice our religion and live under this country's law do not make the news. Sadiq Khan, mayor of London since 2016. A note, okay, uh, so yes, the population wise we are going to increase and uh, meaning almost, uh, almost one in three people in the world would be a Muslim. Over the course of its roughly 1400 years, Islam has massively shaped the history of the world in all kind of ways from the political to the cultural and spiritual in year to come. The influence of Islamic will, Islam will only grow and it is beneficial to both non-Muslims and Muslims alike that it, it crow, it, its core idea be better understood. A note on spellings. Islam originated in an Arabic speaking culture and its terminology is permeated, uh, permeated by Arabic words. The science of trans translating Arabic into English is impressive, imprecise. For instance, the Prophet's name can be written in English as Muhammad, 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 Muhammad and numerous other permutations English does not have characters to represent exact the same sound as Arabic letter. In this book we have used spellings that are a comfortable read for English speakers similarly for uh, the benefits of Islam uh, English readers we have used the word God throughout these books rather than Allah the Arabic name of God. So God is actually in Arabic we said it's Allah. Allah, the merciful, the creator, the cherisher, the sustainer. This is Allah. The one and only, the true God. Now let me show you this timeline. So from 570 Muhammad was born. So this is very interesting. I think you should, we should look this very carefully. Hello. Hello. Am I? Yes, I am Sadam Mondul. Intellipact. Yeah, right. Yeah, yes, I was there. Yes, we can talk. Your voice is not very clear. If you say a little bit louder, that will be better. Okay, please go ahead. Yes, uh, my, uh, my as you mentioned, my name is MD Sadda Mondal. And uh, I just completed my BTEX and the result is yet to come. Around 2 to 5 days it will take. And uh, I, 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 I apply for this job because I love the... Uh, sales and all uh, as I uh, learned from the job profile and uh, yes I have a little bit interest in uh, sellings and also speak uh, marketing and uh, yes as you said uh, as I read in your website uh, data science and all so so yes I'm quite good in that also I have interest also So I just completed my 